Hello everybody and welcome back to The Simple Chic Life. Today I'll be reviewing for you five fragrances. Three of them are niche from the House of Guerlain. One is Hermes and one is Coach. Three of them are kind of nice everyday summertime scents and the other two are a little bit more appropriate for the fall or winter. So if it sounds like something you'd be interested in, then stay tuned. Also, if fragrance and lifestyle videos are your thing, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Okay, so fragrance number one, this is Un Jardin Sur Denil by Hermes, and this is an eau de toilette. So this is a really fresh, airy, light perfume. This fragrance smells like a freshly cut but unripe mango, if you can imagine that. So it's like a freshly cut, unripe mango, and you've put those mango slices into a water bottle, and you've added some leaves from your garden, and then you've misted yourself with it. That's kind of how light and airy and refreshing this fragrance smell so it's incredibly just kind of gives you like a cooling sensation just like a, a light fresh cooling sensation type of a fragrance so this would be really good for like the high heat summertime not something I think I'm gonna wear a lot of because it's not really my vibe so the first note in here is actually grapefruit I don't get a lot of grapefruit but I do get a lot of that mango which is the second most common note and then for me it just smells like a lush but airy kind of a green garden so that is in Jardin Sir Daniel by Hermes Really nice, uplifting, fresh summer scent. The next one is Coach Floral Eau de Parfum, and this is a nice, light, crisp, fruity floral kind of a scent. Really nice for summertime. I don't have anything quite like it in my collection. It's quite mainstream, but I just don't have anything in my collection that is the same vibe. And I really liked it when I tried it as a sample on the back of my hand. I just felt that it was really pretty and just a really good basic go-to when you just want to smell good and you don't really know what to wear for the high heat of the summertime. Smelling it at the atomizer now, I do feel like it smells a little bit generic, but I know that when I did try it on my skin, I really liked it. So I will have to give this one a shot over the next few days. So that is Coach Floral Eau de Parfum. The next one is this absolutely stunning little bottle by Guerlain, and this is Ancelant's Eau de Toilette. This fragrance, you guys, smells like powdered candied violets if you can imagine that. So somebody took violets and they candied them and then they dusted them in powder. It smells very clean and fresh and soft and powdery and feminine. The bottle is absolutely gorgeous and it really matches the fragrance. The bottle is um, looks very vintage. I love how it's got like the bee design on there. I love the cap. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And the bottle's also frosted a little bit, which I think fits the fragrance really well. It's not the type of thing I would wanna smell like every day, I don't think. I think I would honestly just put this on fresh out of the shower, just something for myself to wear around the house or running errands. Really nice for the spring and summer. It's definitely a very floral scent. If you like candy type of smells and you like violet, you would really like this. I know a lot of people have said that they prefer the Eau de Toilette over the Eau de Parfum. If you guys have tried the Eau de Parfum and you prefer it or if you know what the difference is because I haven't smelt the EDP um, let me know down below which your preference is and why I would be really interested to know because I did a lot of hemming and hawing over which one to get I'm pretty happy with my purchase look how gorgeous the bottle is it just blows my mind I love it it's just so pretty the next one is Chalamar Soufflé de Parfum so this is a flanker of the original Guerlain Chalamar which I'm going to review for you in a minute but this fragrance you guys blew my mind honestly when I smelt it. It was a blind purchase and it smells like a spicy, incensey kind of lemon cookie bakery. It does have the original Shalimar DNA but very very muted. It's very wearable. Um, when you first spray it you really get a lot of that lemon cookie kind of a smell. It does smell quite lemony and quite um, quite a lot like a baked lemon cookie in a way but with more spices and a little bit more incense and then after it dries down you really get this gorgeous wearable vanilla and it is honestly to die for you guys. Like this might be one of my new favorite scents in my collection. This is something I wouldn't wear for a date necessarily. I don't think it gives off sexy vibes but I do think it has a really unique kind of a vintage feminine edge to it and it does smell quite different from anything else in my collection it's totally unique I think the bottle is absolutely gorgeous it's got like a ombre effect purple going from the bottom to the top and then it's got a blue lid and it's just it's absolutely stunning you honestly just have to try it it's got like vintage feminine vibes. It's not like hypnotic poison or something like that that's like a super mass pleasing vanilla almond type of a scent. This is definitely a little bit more rich. It's got some character and it's very unique, at least for me. I don't think I've ever smelled anything like it. And 
yeah, such, such a good blind buy. I absolutely love this. So uh, go get your hands on this if you haven't smelt it. And the last one is the Shalimar Eau de Parfum, the original. I do have the cap loose here because I'm going to smell it for you in a minute. This fragrance I wanted basically because it's a classic and I really just wanted it in my collection. I had never smelt it before. Not something I think I would wear a lot of. I'm just going to give it another smell for you guys so I can refresh my memory here. Yes, so this is a vanilla incense spicy fragrance. Very, very heavy on the spices and the incense. Um, it has a very vintage vibe. Obviously, this has been around for about 100 years. It's a very, very old fragrance, but it's been reformulated numerous times. And a lot of people say this reminds them of their grandmother or something that one of the women in their family would have worn many years ago. It does have like a familiar vibe to me. I don't know where I would have smelt it. Um, but it does give off that kind of vintage vibe. Like I feel like I've smelt it before. It does have a little bit of a vanilla undertone. Like I feel like if you went very, very light with this and you let it dry down and you didn't spray too much of it, I could maybe try to get away with it, but honestly, I don't know. It's very, very spicy. To me, if I didn't know what this was and you let me smell it, I probably would have thought that it was some kind of old version, like an older version, like vintage aftershave lotion. That's kind of what I get. Like, I feel like this could be unisex. It's so spicy, but yet it's sweet, and it just has that totally vintage vibe about it. If you guys have smelt this before or if you like it, comment below and let me know. Is it something you wear? Is it something you even like? Um, is it something you would ever have in your collection? I honestly, I just like the way the bottle looks and I like to come back and smell it from time to time and I just think it's kind of cool to have it, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. It's way too spicy for me to even think of spraying on myself, to be very honest. If you're wondering between this and the um, Shalimar de Souffle, the Souffle is very wearable. So even though um, Shalimar de Souffle is a flanker, it really is nothing like this one. It has a little bit of that resemblance, like I said, with a little bit of the spices, but otherwise they are like completely different fragrances. So that is Shalimar Eau de Parfum from the House of Guerlain. So those are the five fragrances that I'm reviewing for you today. Out of these five, the ones I would say that are a safe blind buy would probably be the Coach Floral because this is very mainstream and just a very nice, crisp, fresh summertime floral scent, fruity floral. So that one would be a safe blind buy. Other than that, I honestly don't know if any of the other four would be a safe blind buy simply for the fact that the Jardin Sardinial um, is very, very light and it's very green so if you don't like really soft fragrances and you're not a fan of really green fragrances then it might not be for you um the ensalance is a very sweet so the person receiving this or the person buying it would have to really like sweet scents and like i said i don't know how wearable it is like i think it's kind of a occasion once in a while kind of a perfume so i wouldn't say this one's really a safe blind buy although it turned out to be for me because i think it's beautiful and i love the bottle shalimar not a safe blind buy 100 percent if you're intending for the person to actually wear the fragrance um yeah, not a safe blind buy in that respect, but if it's just somebody who collects fragrances and they just like them and they think they're neat and they're unique and they just like having them in their collection, definitely Shalimar is a go-to for sure. That's the purpose that I bought it for. And the Shalimar de Souffle, this one is borderline a safe blind buy because it is lovely, but I don't know if it would be everybody's cup of tea. So yeah. This one, I would say be careful and just know the person's taste or yourself as well. If you like bakery type of scents and you don't mind a little bit of spice and you like lemon, then you might really, really like this one. So that's it for today's review, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Please comment down below and let me know if you have any of these, if you like any of them, which one's your favorite, if any of them are on your wish list. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.